Pittsburgh and we are going to see the Christmas market and um, here's a couple things to know. This is the oldest Christmas market in all of Europe. It's been around the longest and it's one of the largest ones. Um, we're having a really nice day weather-wise. We don't have blue skies but it's only about seven degrees Celsius so it's not too cold and um, to get to the old town as you can see we're crossing this river and the whole Strasbourg center is almost like almost on a little island so let's go check it out and see what you guys think so I know some people recently have been a little concerned with security and stuff in Europe but everywhere you go they're starting to like do things a little different so to come into this Christmas market behind us they have a gate and they literally check bags and they're checking um, inside coats and stuff so there's a little bit of a hyphen, hyphened um, security just probably because of everything that's happened in the last few years so still very safe this is one of the oldest christmas markets so here we are we are coming in towards the downtown you'll see in the distance there what i mean by hyphen security so you get people walking around um, army guys like that with machine guns so here we go this is what's so unique about Strasbourg it's in France as you know but you get the German style feeling of all the buildings crossed with the French so it's pretty unique for your style light show and it's really neat and we're gonna go watch it soon and we'll tell you what time it is because I'm not exactly sure but we'll tell you like in, when it starts we'll tell you what time it is. Is it 
right here too that's where we are so they're not far apart totally walkable and uh, just beautiful look at how stylish this dollar store is it's actually a two euro store but look at their entryway it's from 1620 1626 guys isn't that beautiful should we go check so this is what it's like at night time here in Palmar the Christmas market it's quite nice you can find a lot of nice gifts so we had a really fun night exploring a different part of the Christmas market. Definitely a place to come visit the Christmas market. It's one of the most beautiful cities in France, in my opinion. I love it, love it, love it. So we had lots of fun today because the girls found lots of cute little Christmas gifts that they like. Smelly stuff, hand themes, all different kinds of things to uh, try here at all the stands. So, Really nice if you're looking for nice little gift ideas for Christmas. So we're drinking a tea that has apples and strawberries and cup sugar. It's really good. I think it's all syrups, right? So you can buy the syrup and mix it with water. Do well, I know what we're drinking? It's a hot tea. Tea with apples and strawberries made and out of no syrup. Sugar. No added sugar. And it's really yummy. So the Colmar Christmas Market is voted the second prettiest one, and I would definitely have to agree. It's like kind of smaller. It has four main areas that you can go and visit, or I think it was five. We showed that on the map earlier. Five main areas, and um, it's absolutely beautiful. A lot of the merchants that you meet are actually local people showcasing their products and their services. So it's got a really nice kind of community. Um, small town feel and it's just wonderful so come and enjoy it next year so Colmar at night is just as pretty as it is during the day and I'm not sure if you guys have seen yet but we did do a video of Colmar in the summertime and um, it's just as pretty um, the difference here right now is just the whole atmosphere is so amazing and because everything's decorated like look behind me here how it looks like that every building's decorated and the whole atmosphere is amazing and because it's still mild out a lot of people are like sitting outside the cafes are open and you can just enjoy a nice drink or your food and um, beautiful absolutely spectacular and well worth coming to see so behind there there's the church that you can see in a distance every uh, little village and city in Europe has a big church in the middle that surrounds the old town like this one here so so pretty so one thing you want to know is that all the Christmas markets in Europe close around 8 at night and so you don't want to come too late because if you do then you miss out on all the stands and stuff so there's still the whole atmosphere in the streets after so right now the stands are closed um, but you, you definitely want to get there early enough to enjoy it see all the different artisans that have their displays there and all the different things that they have for sale 
um, be there early enough. But nonetheless, the streets are alive with the sound of Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year!